and welcome to IBD School. My name is Peter Higgins. I'm a clinician and researcher at the University of Michigan. In this video, IBD School 322, we will talk about the systemic steroids prednisone and solumedrol. Most commonly, systemic steroids are given in two formulations. The IV form is usually given as methylprednisolone, known by the brand name solumedrol. Solumedrol is often given at a dose of about one milligram for every one kilogram of body weight per day. Sometimes this is given once a day, but in most cases the dose is split up to three to four times per day. For example, a patient who weighs 60 kilograms or 132 pounds may receive four 15 milligram doses of solumedrol throughout the day, six hours apart while they're in the hospital. The IV formulation solumedrol is generally reserved for patients who are very sick with a flare and require hospitalization. Solumedrol is given through the IV in a high dose to act quickly. After response to solumedrol, the patient is typically switched to an oral lower dose steroid to help taper off the medication. Solumedrol can occasionally be used in outpatients who are not quite sick enough to be in the hospital, but are very close to being hospitalized to try to prevent a hospitalization. Frequently, we will bring patients into our ADTU, the Ambulatory Diagnostic and Treatment Unit which is like an urgent care specifically for IBD. These patients are not sick enough to go to the hospital, but are still experiencing moderate to severe flare-ups. When they come into the ADTU, we will ask for a stool sample and test for infections like C. diff and E. coli, which steroids are not effective at treating. See IBD School 324 for more on IBD and infections. If we find that the inflammation is purely caused by IBD, we will give the patient an IV bolus dose of solumedrol to quickly help the inflammation. An IV bolus dose is just one large dose of the medication used to help get symptoms under control quickly. After the bolus dose, we will use an oral steroid to help the patient taper off the medication. In most cases, this method is effective at treating patients and keeping them out of the hospital. The downside of using systemic steroids is that they have a lot of frequent and severe side effects. In fact, about 70% of patients will experience severe side effects. You can learn more about the side effects of systemic steroids in IBD School video 323. The oral steroid we have talked about is prednisone. Prednisone is commonly used and comes in multiple sizes of tablets ranging from one milligram up to 20 milligrams. We frequently use prednisone to help patients quickly control an IBD flare-up. Usually, after about a week of control of symptoms, or once we feel that the patient is stable, we start to taper the patient off of prednisone. Typically, we taper them off by 5 to 10 milligrams per week, and hopefully the patient will completely come off the steroid over several weeks. It is important to note that prednisone is still a systemic steroid, so it comes with a lot of frequent and severe side effects. We use it as a medication fire extinguisher to quickly treat severe flare-ups but it is not something we want to be using all the time. Recently, we've been looking more into using gut-specific steroids like budesonide, which have much reduced side effects compared to systemic steroids. However, budesonide is typically only strong enough to use for moderate flare-ups with the intention of catching the inflammation before it becomes severe. You can learn more about budesonide in IBD School video 325. For moderate flare-ups, we can also use some of our newer, faster-acting medications, like JAK inhibitors such as tofacitinib or Zeljans, or anti-TNF medications like infliximab, also known as Remicade, Inflectra, or Renflexus, or an anti-IL-1223 medication like Stellara, known as Ustekinumab. These medications aren't quite as fast-acting as steroids, but they still act quickly and have far fewer side effects than systemic steroids. Sometimes we may use budesonide as a bridge until these medications kick in. In severe cases, steroids are still our fastest acting medications to treat flare-ups. The IV formulation solumedrol is usually used for the hospitalized patients who are then given the oral form prednisone as a taper. For patients who aren't quite severe enough to be in the hospital, we use steroids at our ADTU to get flare-ups quickly under control. It is important to note that steroids are only used in severe flare-ups and are not meant to replace your maintenance medication. Steroids have frequent and severe side effects. As a good rule of thumb, if you are receiving more than one course of steroids per year, your maintenance medication needs to be adjusted. You can learn more about steroids and their side effects in IBD School videos 323 and 324. 
You can also learn more about the gut selective steroid budesonide in IBD School Video 325. I'm Peter Higgins, and thank you for watching IBD School.